You're now watching Showbiz na your daily showbiz update. Sa wakas ay binahagi na nga ng GMA ang nasabi nga pong remake ng Voltage 5 Legacy. The World is Under Attack Mega Trailer. Mapapanood nga ito sa kanilang YouTube channel 22 hours ago. 391,000 views na nga ang nasabi ng trailer na ito. Well, nakalagay doon ang three brothers Steve, Miguel San Felix, Big Bert, Matt Lozano, and Little John Armstrong, Rafael Landicho, and their friends Jamie Robinson, Isabel Ortega, and Mark Gordon, Ranson Flores, joined forces to defend the Earth from humanoid aliens known as Buzanians who plans to invade the planet and launch their beast fighters all over the world. Votes Legacy, written by Suzette Doctolero and directed by Mark Reyes, is an exclusive offering of the GMA Entertainment Group. It bears the potential of being the Philippines' first serious epic sci-fi TV shows at it is partnered with Toei Company LTD, the same company that brought the robot saga to life and its local lic licensor, Telesuccess Productions Incorporations. GMA also engaged the service of Riot Incorporation Post production along with GME Post Video Graphics to handle the CGI and the live action elements of the stories. Well, ano nga kaya ang masasay ng mga netizen? Dahil nang panoorin natin ang nasabi nga pong trailer, eh talaga namang kinastusan at makikita natin na pinaghandaan talaga ito ng Channel 7. Pero syempre, iba-iba nga ng paningin at taste ang mga tao. Well, ano kaya ang masasay nila? Narito, mismo sa YouTube channel ng GMA, ibahagi natin kung ano ba ang naging reaksyon nila sa nasabing trailer ng Voltas 5 Legacy na iyo offer ng GMA 7, kung saan nahan doon din si Carla Abeliana at iba pang magagaling na artista. Sa so, mga nerzen, pinag-isipan, pinaghirapan, pinagkagastusan, this is a huge milestone for the Philippine entertainment industry. Kudos, GMA! Congratulations, GMA7! Ang ganda! WTF! Sobrang ganda! Grabe, GMA! Said naman ng isang netizen, a big step and development to a Philippine animation. Before we criticize, why not look back the older works done in our Philippine history? We will not progress if we won't take step. I hope this can be a start of bringing back to life the Philippine entertainment. I'm so proud of you, GMA, because you are doing your best and fighting your way in coming up with new and refreshing for us that is not our usual old ones like MCI. Running Man adaptation, and now this, I'm into Korean and Chinese dramas and shows the past years, but lately, I have been watching our own shows. Keep it up, GMA. Say naman ng isang netizen, Parang naiyak nga daw siya at ayon sa kanya, make this series a very good one. Everyone involved with this should be proud. Please claim all the accolades, applause, and nice words from us. You truly deserve what GMA masyado nyo namang ginagalingan again. Tapos na ang laban. What a way to start 2023. Thanks! Say naman ng isa, ang ganda, ang laki ng pinagbago ng effects. Capable na tayo ng ganito. Sana mas madami pang ganito ang magproduce sa Pilipinas. Nanginginig ako sa excitement. Grabe, my childhood yung part na nag-sacrifice si mama nila. Napapaluha pa rin ako. To be honest, ang ganda ng history nito. It's all about longingness to their father. Kaya tayo dapat lagi ipakita ang pagmamahal sa ating pamilya. Anyway, excited na nga ang mga netizen sa nasabi nga pong pagpapalabas ng GMA na Voltas 5 Legacy kung saan isa rin sa nandoon ay walang iba kundi si Dennis Trillo. Max Collins, kaya naman excited na ang lahat. Yan nga ang naging say nila. Kudos, GMA. Yan ang ating Showbiz Now update. Images are all credit to the rightful owners and thank you for watching Showbiz Now. Anyway, marami rin pala ang nagsasabi na sobrang kaabang-abang nga to dahil na rin kila Carla Abeliana at Dennis Trillo na aabangan din sa nasabing serye. Pero mukhang sila ay supporting lamang sa nasabing teleserya na ito na malapit ng mapanood sa GMA. At yan ang ating Showbiz Snob Update. Images are all credit to the rightful owners and thank you for watching Showbiz Snob.